Good evening. This is Miles Martin, a student from Professor Keyes' 4200 hydrology class. And today we'll be looking at the problem 10.35 from the book Water Resource Engineering by David Chen. Looking at the problem, it asks us to show a proof that any triangular unit hydrograph that has a peak model free, QP, in meters cubed per second, which is given by QP equal 2.08 times A divided by TP must necessarily have a runoff duration equal to 2.67 TP, where TP is the time to peak in hours, and A is the catchment area in kilometers squared. So let's begin the problem. Let's mark down the variables we are given, which is that the peak flow rate, QP, is equal to 2.08 times A over TP. We also know that, know that the area is in kilometers squared and that the time to peak duration, TP, is in hours. Now through our understanding of the unit hydrograph, we know that the volume of the runoff is the relation between the time duration and the flow rate. And it's equal to the area of the entire triangle unit hydrograph. Now we know that the area of triangles is equal to one half base time height. We can use this expression to formulate an equation that the area of the catchment times the depth, which we'll denote as h, is equal to one half base, which is the time, which we'll denote as tb, multiplied by the flow rate, the peak flow rate, which is meters cubed per second. So now we have kilometers squared, centimeters, hours, meters cubed per second. So let's simplify these units so that we can cancel them out. So using curve version, let's start with area and convert kilometers squared to meters squared. We begin this by starting with kilometers squared and knowing that in one kilometer squared, there is 10 to the six meters squared. The kilometers squared cancel each other out, just leaving meters squared. Let's do the same with the depth of flu rate. We'll convert centimeters to meters. So there are 100 centimeters in one meter. The centimeters cancel out with each other, leaving the depth to be just meters. Lastly, let's do the same to the time base. Let's convert hours to seconds. So in one hour, there are 60 minutes. And in one minute, there are 60 seconds. The hours cancel, the minutes cancel, leaving just seconds. Lastly, let's add on our peak flow rate, which we'll keep the same, which is meters cubed per second. So let's clean up the equation a bit. We have area of the catchment, which is 10 to the 6 meters squared. We have the depth of the flow rate, which we'll put in scientific notation, so that makes that 
10 to the negative 2 meters. The time base is 3600 seconds. Multiplying by the flow rate meters cubed per second. Now looking back, we know that QP is equal to 2.08 times A over TP. So let's substitute that into our equation, replacing QP. So we have A times 2.08 times the area over the time the peak flow rate. Now, using algebra, let's solve for the time duration TP. So let's multiply TP on both sides giving us, and combining 10 to the sixth and 10 to the negative two, we have TP multiplied by the area times 10 to the fourth. Now dividing everything, except TB, On both sides. We get that TB, which is the time duration of the base, is equal to TP times A times 10 to the fourth over one half times 3,600 times 2.0 times A. The areas cancel, leaving us with just this. Now, let's use our calculator. So we have 10 to the fourth divided by one half times 3600 times 2.08 is equal to 2.67 TP. And this is equal to the time base. Therefore, for any triangular unit hydrograph that has a peak runoff rate of 2.08 times A over TP, we'll have a runoff duration that is equal to 2.67 TP. This is equal to the runoff duration that is equal to 2.67 PE, where TP is in hours, and A is the catchment area in kilometers squared. So the proof is correct. Thank you.